All right, so I think this will do it for the Reddit AMA. I've uh, been answering heady questions on geopolitics and the like for the last two and a half hours, so my brain is a little bit frazzled, and I'm going to be picking up my son in just a few minutes here, so I gotta get running. But before I do so, I thought I'd answer a completely different type of question. Why not? Um, Kelso Rules writes, Hi James, thank you for all that you do. Your work truly inspires me and gives me hope for the future of my family and for humans as a race on this planet. I know most questions will deal with geopolitics or economics or something of the sort. What I would like to know is, who is James? What's your favorite film, television show, food? Also, your pieces on love and the snippets about your son have given me a new take on actually wanting to have kids. I've become so skeptical and scared to bring a child into this world, but you have breathed new life into that decision. Once again, thank you for all you do, and please never stop. All right, thank you very much for that comment. And, uh, you know, obviously I can't tell people they should have kids. That's completely and 100% up to each individual um, as to their their own assessment of what they are capable of and what they want. But uh, for myself, I, I mean, having children is, it's phenomenal. It's indescribable um, to actually see a human being growing up and switching on and learning new things day by day. It is absolutely incredible. And I know every parent says it, but it's true. I mean, my children are the most amazing and interesting and wonderful people I've ever met. And it's only going to get better from here. So... So I am absolutely, yeah, I understand uh, the sentiment, the world is so horrible, why would you have children? But uh, I don't think there has ever been a generation in the history of the human race that has not looked and thought, oh, the world is so terrible, maybe we shouldn't have children. Um, I mean, assuming that that mindset could have even existed before, I think that's perhaps a uniquely uh, decline of Western civilization type of idea or thought to have. Um but, of course, that is the struggle of humanity. That is why we are here. We are here because every single generation before us, stretching stretching back to the crack of doom, have been, have made that decision that they're going to go ahead. And we are the end products of that. And to be the one to cut that chain of the thousands and thousands and thousands of years of people struggling and struggling to make ends meet just to have children, just to continue on and to continue struggling to reach the point where now we are living in the lap of luxury that would have been unimaginable by any previous generation in the history of humanity. And to say, oh, but it's, uh, I don't let, you know, I, oh, I'm scared to have children. I don't know. For me, that's not a persuasive argument. I think this is the whole point of why we are here is to continue Pro progressing and continue um, continue humanity because uh, I'm not ready to give up on the grand experiment of the human race. Um, <laughs> anyway, as for favorite film, TV show, food, uh, I mean, I haven't even watched television in over a decade. Um, what do I do for entertainment? I, I like, I mean, I like music. Um, I, I'm a big jazz fan. I think I'm fundamentally a jazz fan, but when it comes to the pop realm, as people know, I think probably by now, Smashing Pumpkins have been a favorite of mine since my teenage years. But uh, I think even more fundamentally, I'm probably a Beatles fan. Um, food, I like soba, um, is one of my favorite foods. Curry is another favorite. I like spicy foods in general. Uh, favorite film, um, it varies. I, I don't even... I, again, I don't watch a, as many films as I used to. Uh, there's been many that I've talked about. Um, I've talked, I mean, I've talked about Kubrick, a master filmmaker. Obviously, some interesting things that I've talked about on the podcast with regards to his films, but clearly a master filmmaker. Uh, someone I don't think I've talked about, but I think was a master filmmaker, K Kurosawa. If anyone hasn't seen uh, Kurosawa's films, please do so. Uh, again, a brilliant, brilliant filmmaker. Um... Uh, I think that that does it. I have talked about myself and my background and my, my past before. Um, it's linked on the about page of my site. There's a link to uh, Meet James Corbett, the podcast episode I did years and years ago. Um, and I've talked about life in Japan and things on the website before. So I'll throw in some links in that in the Reddit thread. And as I say, that's going to do it for this edition of the Reddit AMA. I want to thank everyone for, uh, for participating. I do appreciate it. And by the way, if you're watching this from Reddit or from an article or something that's linked up to this video, please note this is on my Corporate Report Extras YouTube channel, which is my secondary YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed to that one, please do so. If you're not subscribed to my main channel, please uh, do so. And uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you all again very soon. And if you want to participate in the 
uh, regular and ongoing AMA that I do at CorbettReport.com. I do a, a podcast series called Questions for Corbett that you can find at CorbettReport.com. And since we did the AMA this month, I think the next Questions for Corbett will be next month. So I'm looking forward to that. And you can get your questions in via a variety of methods. You can always tweet me using the Q4C hashtag. You can uh, use my contact form. You can leave a, an audio message via SpeakPipe application that's right there built into the contact uh, form on my site. Or if you're a member, you can log in and leave comments on the previous edition of the Questions for Corbett podcast, and I'll answer them next time. So that's going to do it for this uh, time. Thank you all for your questions. Thank you for your participation. Looking forward to talking to you all again.